The greater burdock originally came from Europe and Asia, spreading to America, and it's cultivated in other places like Australia. It grows freely in courtyards and around landfills, at roadsides, and nitrogen-rich areas with abundant organic substances such as murine. The roots are edible. The primary root is thicker and more robust than the secondary ones. The stem is branched and rough. The leaves are large and somewhat fleshy, alternate, and stalked. They are rough, oval, and have irregular, jagged edges. The top color is green and the underneath color is whitish. The flower heads that are mostly pendiculated and the violet color complexes can adhere by contact. Under the violet flower, there is a set of rigid bracts with hooked sh with hooks, shapes, ends that support them. This plant flowers from June to September. The parts are used the parts used in the leaves and the roots for medicine and eating. These parts are taken right before they bloom. Once collected, they have to be left dry and then dip them in boiling water to retain their active substances. The leaves are applied as a politis on the skin and the roots, and the seeds are used to make tea. It is also used for medical purposes such as heart diseases, skin conditions, and diabetes.